Hi, my name is Robert. This video is designed to give you step-by-step -step detailed instructions on completing the task at hand. Please read the comments in the About section of this video. It has valuable information and updates. My YouTube channel has a disclaimer video that I encourage you to watch. And please, like, share, and subscribe. I hope you find what you're looking for. Thank you very much for watching. One of the things that can cause your vehicle to overheat is the engine fan. Now this engine fan is programmed through the computer to cut on when the engine coolant temperature gets to a certain temperature. In this particular vehicle, it's 216 degrees Fahrenheit. Some of these other vehicles, it's 224 degrees Fahrenheit. At any rate, it's programmed to cut this fan on before the coolant boils and overheats the engine. When the boiling occurs, that's when the pressure inside the engine builds up so much that it causes the cylinder head to warp or when it gets too hot, starts blowing radiators, heater cores, coolant hoses and stuff like that. So you don't want your engine coolant temperature to get to boiling point and this fan uh, keeps that from happening. Now the fan usually cuts on two times. One, when that temperature gets a certain degree and two, when you're running the AC. So most of these fans are two-step fans which means two speeds. I'm going to show you how to test this fan if you can't get it to come on with the engine running. So usually you start the engine, let the engine run 10-15 minutes, the fan will cut on by itself because the coolant gets that hot. But if it's not cutting on, this is a way you could jump power straight to it and see if the fan is working. In a lot of vehicles, these fans have the ability to cut on even if the engine's not running. If that temperature sensor sends it a signal saying that the coolant temperature is too hot, it'll cut the fan on even when the car is sitting static. So some of these cars, these things will run with the engine off if it's too hot. Sometimes I've driven cars up mountains, get to the top of the mountain, climbing the mountains cause the engine to get hot. I park the car, four or five minutes later the fan cuts on because the engine oil temperature heated the coolant temperature up high enough to trigger the fan. So anyway, most of these fans have a relay. On this car, the relay's here. And your power leads are those two there, that red and that green. And this connection is the ground to the fan. So with the ground to the fan being plugged in, I should be able to put power to this red and this green wire, which plugs in there. And that should activate the fan. Now, this is a power going to the relay. This may be live at all times, and this may be signal wires that will signal to it to cut the fan on. Now, this plug here, I can unplug this, and this is running power, or once that relay is activated, it'll send power down to the fan. So I'm going to unplug this here and jump this harness here. Well, it might be a good thing I poked around here because just pulling this out, two of the signal wires came apart. One of them's broke, probably to signal when the AC's on. The other one's broke or pulled right out of the connector. So I need to fix that, make sure this fan works. So here are two wires, a red and a green. Not sure which one's high speed, which one's low. But I'm going to take a wire and apply power to it directly from the battery. So let me take this wire. You see how thick that gauge is? Probably should use thicker wire, but I'm only doing it for temporary. Shouldn't run long enough to make it hot. Let me get this on here so you can see if it activates the fan. So I took what appears to be 16 gauge wire. I stripped the ends off. I'm gonna push this wire down here in this connector so that it makes contact in there. And then I'm going to touch the other end to the battery and see if the fan cuts on. I got this in there. Let me put that in there a little better. I have the wire jammed in the red side. I'm going to take this over here and touch it on the battery post. And this fan should cut on. Up, oh, I'm a little shorter than I need to be. Let me see if I can pull the wire over a little bit. Or I'm going to have to go get a longer wire. You could touch this wire to any source of 12 volts. 
this is what I choose to do. Come on, just a little bit further. And the fan came on. So I know the fans work. Now I'm gonna put it in that other hole and see if the fan comes on to a faster speed. This seems like a slower speed. So the green wire is the slow speed, the red wire is the faster speed, but I know that fan is working. Let me get this other connection over here fixed, get this back together, and I'll be done with the test. These wires lost their insulation, and Swedish car parts sell these. So I'm going to order a couple from Swedish car parts next time I order anything from them and get these spliced in properly and separate it so let me go ahead and stick these wires through here plug them in and then I'll have them separated at least until I get the insulated wire ends do 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 if you feel that this information was useful please like it and share it with your social media friends you can subscribe to my channel so that you will get notifications of future videos that I post you can follow me on Twitter, and if you need to contact me directly, please visit my website. And if you have any questions, leave them below, and someone or myself will reply to them. Again, thank you very much for watching.